And using the spectrum analyzer, we could analyze the frequency and the width of the peak to determine the Q value or the quality factor of the tip. So here's a simple schematic that we had. As you can see here, we ground our STM because we're mainly focusing on the AFM. So we ground our STM and into our ground, and this is our op amp right here. So what we do is we send the signal into our op amp that turns it into a voltage, and it goes out as our V out into the spectrum analyzer. The reason we have a 10 mega ohm resistor here is that we need high resistance in order to amplify and get a large signal out so we can read the frequency. So our results. Um, we actually did not get any results for this part, the Q-tip. And we could not detect any resonant, fre any resonant frequency. And we also tested the Volmer contestor, but it was commercially bought and it also failed us. <laughs> but high hopes, our project will continue and we will attempt different techniques to find the resonant frequency. So this is a graph of what we were looking for. So we did not actually get this as our result, but this is the ideal graph. Right here, you can see below, this is our, our x-axis, is our frequency in hertz, and our y-axis is the, the signal intensity. So we determine, the peak tells us our frequency and how wide or how narrow it is that could help us.